Hi everyone, this is just a short little video just to show you how I make my cacao. Um, I've had quite a few people now ask me how to make it so it tastes amazing and it's got that creamy consistency that I have in my ceremonies. So I'm here in Guatemala, I'm just getting ready for my ceremony here and I thought I'd show you two ways of making it. So if you're going to make it, first of all we have, um, I haven't got it with me now, just here. So it's raw, 100% pure cacao, unprocessed, so um, the ceremonial cacao. Um, what I do is I grate it down, so we've done that already. So it comes in a block, um, and that's with the cacao butters and everything all together. Um, you grate it down, um, and then I either use it in a sort of a small blender, um, or you can make it in a cup. So I'm going to show you both ways. So um, I've already blended some now, so I'm going to actually just show you in the blender. So you just put in the, the grated cacao in, it's going to be a bit messy, okay. Um, a ceremonial dose is 42 grams, so um, I'd say if you've not used it before, maybe just have half of that or at least 30 grams um, and then just increase it up to 40 once you know you're okay with it. So what I use is, um, I've had pre-boiled water, um, it's not boiling, it's um, kind of hot warm. I put the hot part first, you want to keep it below 50 degrees, 50 or 40 degrees really to keep it raw. And then I just add cold water to it as well. Um, ideally I, I would put the cold and hot together and already do that, but because I'm, I'm kind of ad-libbing here. At the back of our yoga studio, um, I just keep changing it. So like the hot to warm and the cold. So I do it first of all um, with part of the water. So in this there's about 100 grams. Um, I've just put enough water to make it into a really creamy consistency first. So I'm just gonna put that onto the blender. And it's just this one. And then what you do I am using here uh, raw honey, which is actually made on the lake. Um, this is organic honey that I will use. Um, for people who don't want to use honey, um, you can use uh, coconut sugar, um, the agave, anything really to sweeten it. It um, doesn't need to be a lot. We're quite used to it now, so I'm only going to put this amount. Um, next, I'll, we'll put some cayenne. The cayenne pepper helps to spice it up, um, it helps to accelerate the work of the cacao and it allows it to go right into the bloodstream. So put a little bit of that in and I like to use a little bit of rose water just to take the bitterness away. Um, we're just in Guatemala at the moment so I haven't got everything that I would usually use. So I would usually use um, coconut oil and I've got some cinnamon just in here as well so just a little bit of cinnamon in there. Um, coconut oil, you can also use zest of orange, um, mint, anything really, but not, uh, just make sure you don't use milk. Milk denatures the enzymes in the cacao, so you don't want to be using milk. So I'm going to put some more water in now and then re-blend it. And I'll show you the other one, let me just pour. Okay, and now I'm just going to show you how to make it with the cacao in the cup. So this is good if you haven't got much time or you haven't got a blender um, and you just want to make one for yourself. Um, again, it's the grated cacao, either 30 grams or 42 grams. We're gonna add a little bit of the warm, not boiling water, just to make a paste. So the idea with this is to make a paste like gravy. So you just add a little bit of water, make a paste, a little bit more water, and just keep doing that until you've got the consistency that you want. So again, I'm just gonna put a little bit of that water and then some cold. So we're keeping it below 40 degrees, so everything is still working. Um, all of the properties are still working. Cacao has over 200 plant compounds, which is why we use it for ceremony. Um, allows us to our heart to open through the release of serotonin and endorphins um, and, and dopamine, lots of the body's happy, happy bliss hormones, um, which allows us to kind of connect when we do a meditation 
and let go of our thoughts, let go of the kind of monkey mind and all our limiting beliefs and things and really get into our heart and what we believe to be true and what we know to be true of ourselves. Um, so, yeah, we want to keep the water to just lukewarm, really, so we can make sure that that works. Um, again, as I said, the cayenne pepper helps to really... Um, accelerate the the effect of the cacao the rose water i use because again that's heart opening um it's really nice as well to maybe put a drop of lavender in sometimes just a drop um depending on the, the things that you want to do uh ginger is a really great one as well to warm the body up and to kind of accelerate um but that's it really um so you've got the one with the blender and then the one where you just use it um in the cup so any questions get hold of me um, my website is lisafironcoaching.com um, and just follow a more cacao and you can see more recipes and things there. Okay.